Governor. Well, first, I'm, I'm really excited for our players and for our fans, the fact that we have uh, postseason baseball again here in Charlottesville. Um, you know, to think about in the last uh, nine years that six of those years we've had NCAA baseball here is something pretty special. And, you know, our players and our fans are deserving of that opportunity to have baseball here next weekend, and we're looking forward to it. Talk a little bit about the field. I know it's early. I don't know how much yeah. you know about them, but... Well, I, you know, I, I don't know too much about the, the teams that are, that are coming here, about how they've done this year. Uh, I know we'll investigate that the rest of it uh, today. Uh, but I know how well Army is coached, and I know that they've been in the NCAA tournament many times. Um, I know Appalachian State is having a, a uh, ter tremendous year, um, and we all know how good Oklahoma is. You know, when you play in the Big 12, and and playing the title game, and we've had them here in a Super Regional in 2010. Uh, we know the kind of athletes they have and what they're capable of. So, you know, certainly no matter who you play in a regional, you're going to have to play really good baseball to advance, and this year will be no different. Uh, according to what I looked up, you haven't seen any of these teams the last two years, you know, last one being Oklahoma in right. 2010. Is that an advantage, do you think, not having any past knowledge? Or what are your thoughts on facing teams you've never seen before? Well, the fact that we haven't played any of these teams this year or, you know, even last year, um, I don't think it really matters. That's, that, that's what happens pretty much this time of the year in regionals. You really don't have a lot of experience with somebody. And so, you know, it's about our strengths and it's about what we do well. And the same is true for them, you know. Uh, so it's about us doing uh, what we need to do to be successful. And... I'm sure in a short period of time and with today's day and age with television, we'll find out a lot more about these teams in the, in the coming days. Right, you've won a regional on the road and you've won one right. here as well. Uh, I'm guessing you prefer to play at home with the all things being equal. What's, what's the advantage of being at that board if there is one? Well, I'm, I'm ecstatic that we're playing at home here. Uh, you know, our, our fans here are very, very passionate. Uh, we will fill this stadium, I have no doubt. And um, you know, certainly there's an advantage when you have uh, 5,000 people on your side cheering you on. And, and we also understand you know, how this ballpark plays. And, and uh, you know, when you have those things, I, you know, I think it's, it's, it's an advantage. And that's why uh, we put in a, a regional host bid. And that's why people make such a big deal about hosting because you know, it's, you're playing in the confines of your own ballpark and you have your fans behind you. How do you approach the pitching for when you're the number one seed. Yeah. Um, you know, we've our, our pitching rotation every year has has changed with uh, what we we do. Uh, you know, again, well, I don't know enough about the teams yet yeah. to know exactly uh, what we are going to do. This year is a little bit yeah. uh, different than the past. And in the past, we've had four consistent starters pretty much all year long, and uh, we haven't had that this year. So, you know, Coach Kuhn and I will talk about you know, the teams after we get some more information on them and, and really what we think is best to do uh, to win on Friday and then win beyond. You have to feel really good about your team the way they came out of the ACC tournament. Yeah, I'll tell you, you know, um, you know, to start off at the ACC tournament and beating uh, Clemson and then, uh, you know, we all know what happened in the Georgia Tech game. You know, we just didn't get the job done on the mound and, and uh, Georgia Tech was hot, you know, and won the title. And then for our players to – you know, to bounce back and play like we did against Florida State and win that ball game, you know, I think shows how much, um, you know, this, this game means to them and, you know, how much they feel like they still have to prove.